when the love is there, you know, like you really in the relationship, you don't care what nobody's saying. Right. But when things is a little shaky, like that negative energy and negative talk kind of affects the relationship too. As Common's new romance with Jennifer Hudson is heating up, fans are warning Jay Hud that this is not going to end well because Common's ex, Erica Badu, cursed his love life. See, there's this long standing rumor that Erica practices some kind of love magic or witchcraft because all the men she dated seem to be completely under her control. Right. Yeah, because you like one of those alpha women who you do men the way men historically have done women. Do I? Yeah. It's interesting. After Erica called it quits with Common, he actually admitted he was so broken up that he couldn't eat or sleep and was just going through the motions for months and months. And ever since then, Common hasn't been able to maintain a long-term relationship. And many fans are saying this is what happens when you get under Erica's spell. I got this at my third ayahuasca ceremony. Made a force. Be with you. But does this mean that Erica is an actual witch? And did she really curse Common's love life? Let's get into it. I think I, I think, I think, yeah, at a certain point I was like, you know what, I'm good on this. Three times yeah, 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 three times. I'm, I'm kind of cool on, that, on this. Okay, so in case you missed the latest update on Common's messy love life, he recently started a new relationship with Jennifer Hudson. After months of speculation, Jennifer Hudson seemingly confirmed their relationship after she recently posted a bunch of photos and videos from her trip to London. And in the videos, fans spotted Common's voice in the background. Yeah. <laughs> However, this romance has already become the target of online drama after Common's ex, Tiffany Haddish, seemingly shaded Common over his relationship with Jennifer. Girl, he never gave me no damn earrings. He probably gave us to Jennifer. But why is Common's love life still so drama-filled at his big age? How come all of his relationships expire after a couple of years? Well, according to a very popular theory, Common's ex Erica Badu may have something to do with this. And some fans are convinced that Erica cursed Common after they broke up. To give you some context, Erica and Common started dating sometime in 2000. However, things started going downhill in late 2002 and Erica decided to pull the plug on the relationship. Now, you may be thinking that Erica discovered Common was two-timing her. However, Common and claimed that the opposite was true and that Erica dumped him because she developed feelings for someone else. He also revealed that Erica broke up with him over the phone and he said that this was his first real heartbreak. She handed it to me. I was in my hotel room on tour and she called me and was like, hey, I don't wanna be in this relationship no more. I'm liking someone else, Common said. And he also admitted that Erica was his first love despite already having one marriage behind him when he started dating her. Before Common got involved with Erica, he was engaged to a woman named Kim Jones and they share a daughter together. And after Erica, Common was linked to a number of high-profile women, including Serena Williams and Taraj P. Henson. However, he always claimed that it was Erica who had the biggest impact on his life out of all of these women. And though it's been over two decades since they called it quits, Common still talks about how Erica completely broke him. In his 2020 interview with People, he recalled their breakup as one of his most life-changing moments and said, when we split, I was 27 or 28. I was in a haze just going through the motions. It was hard to eat. But Common is not the only man who was left completely mesmerized by Erica. After she dumped Common, Erica had several high-profile relationships with rappers Andre 3000, the DOC, J Electronica, and most recently, the Boondocks producer Carl Jones. And it was apparently Erica who pulled the plug on all of these relationships while the men were left, as Common put it, in a complete haze. Now, mind you, Erica herself admitted that she's not a very sentimental person and she doesn't even care if men physically cheat on her because all she wants in a partner is companionship. Here's what she said in an interview when asked about her effect on men. I learned just as much from them as they learn from me. I'm a cold m though. But the people I'm with are cold too. They're a reflection of that. Become a cold m and the mother will just come like magnets. And when asked if her relationship ended because her ex has cheated on her, Erica said that infidelity is not a deal breaker for her. And she understands that men are biologically programmed to chase. We're all born sexual beings. I myself am not someone with a very high libido. I don't require sex for happiness. I need companionship, Erica said. I need a partner I can depend on that I can grow and love with. But I do understand the nature of these men I've been with and men in general, they have a need to chase. So as you can see, Erica has a 
very, well, interesting outlook on love and relationships. But why are fans saying that she's a witch? Well, believe it or not, Erica herself admitted on several occasions that she likes to think of herself as a witch. Before hosting the 2016 Soul Train Awards, Erica posted a promotional video on Facebook and one fan commented, I've always enjoyed her music and eccentric styles, but that's a witch hat and any other celeb who wears it does it to serve that purpose plain as day. Can't be down with that aspect. And instead of denying it or simply ignoring this comment, Erica replied, I'm a witch. And this wasn't the only time Erica referred to herself as a witch. When one fan commented on one of Erica's Instagram posts asking, are you a witch, Badu? She simply replied, yes. But that's not all. In February 2020, Erica opened an online store named Badu World Market, where she sells clothing, merchandise, accessories, incense, and many more unique products, including a scent named Badu P Word. And when asked why she named the scent after her private parts, Erica claimed that it was because she created the fragrance by literally taking a bunch of her worn panties, cutting them up into pieces, and burning them. In an interview with 10 Magazine, Erica said, there's an urban legend that my pee changes men. The men that I fall in love with and fall in love with me change jobs and lives. But Erica didn't deny this urban legend and instead she called it her superpower, adding that this is what inspired her to sell her own scent. Now, when this news first came out, many fans thought that Erica was just trolling. However, it turned out that she was dead serious and fans took to social media to say that this is definitely witchcraft. Witchcraft, voodoo, and creepy as hell, one fan said. And another fan added, I guess Common was right when he said that it's just something about Badu that makes a man go crazy. Point proven, Badu putting something in the universe. And guess what? Whatever voodoo or witchcraft Erica was doing, it clearly worked because her scent sold out in minutes. All right, now Erica Badu has launched her online shopping store with her vagina fragrance. And that fragrance sold out in minutes, but it has restocked since that happened. So it's a it's her Badu uh, vagina. I can't say the word on here. Premium incense. So you can really But does this mean that Erica also curses her lovers? Or is there just something about her that makes it impossible for them to get over her? Well, a lot of fans have pointed out that all the men who were involved with Erica have been struggling in their romantic lives since she left them. And they seem to be going from woman to woman trying to find whatever it is that they experienced with her. And Common is one of those men who has been struggling with his love life. And no matter who he dates, it always ends in disaster. However, if you ask Erica, the magic she uses on men is not practiced in the bedroom like a lot of people think. In an interview on the Tamron Hall show, Erica was asked to address the rumors about her mystical powers that make men fall in love with her the moment they look her in the eyes. And here's what she said. You you are a, a keenly aware of the urban legend that men can't look you in the eye without falling in love. That's why I try to wear, you know, hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> I... I don't know what's happening. However, Erica also added that it's not just men who are mesmerized by her, but all living beings, and this has nothing to do with her bedroom skills. So how does it affect, you know, when a man knows I'm gonna look at her and I'm never gonna be able to forget her? Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. Women too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Children and animals. <laughs> so think any breathing thing. Any any living breathing thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a powerful. How do you describe it? What my power? Yeah. Um, I think it's indescribable. And in the bedroom, that's not where you're gonna find it because. My, my magic doesn't lie between my thighs, it lies between my ears. Now, as for fans' responses to these rumors surrounding Erica's power over men, some of them are convinced that she's an actual witch. However, others are saying that she's just a pick-me, and that's why men are so obsessed with her. Erica is a witch, one fan said. She uses S-E-X magic unintentionally at first to have them men ready to eat the dirt under her feet. However, another person replied, I love Erica's music, but she just gives pick-me. I know people love that rumor about her mesmerizing men, but I just can't get over the fact that she's always defending foolishness and is so male identified is probably why men are so enchanted with her. But let's hear your thoughts on Erica Badu. Do you think that she's an actual witch or is she just good at saying things men like to hear? And is this the reason that Common has a cursed love life? Comment down below and don't miss out on this next video.